Welcome back to the lab, folks. Today we've got a mailbag video for you, and the mail has gotten so ridiculous. Uh, my my puppy got into one of the packages, so I've, I've got to get this done today. Uh, there's a lot to go through, so I'll go through very quickly, uh, beginning with this. Now this is, is mostly um, it's mostly hardware and tools and stuff like that. There, there are a few parts in here, but uh, let, let's get on with this. But this here is a little vise, a little plastic vise for working with PCBs on the, the soldering bench. So this would be for working with stuff like this. Now, is it, it's pretty handy. It's got this little button here. You press it and it slides in and out, or you can screw it in and out. And uh, these little posts here can be removed and put in further apart or closer together as you need. Once you get the clamp set up, it uh, holds it very, very nice and steadily. Aha! This is a meter, a panel meter. And it's unlike the ones that I've had before. This particular one here is good for 50 amps. So it has a big shunt built into it. It's a little bit more expensive than the other ones. Well, actually quite a bit more, maybe about four times more. But this is going to be for a project. And I'm glad I got this in because now I can verify some dimensions and, and get on with the project. So look for that coming up. It'll probably be my next video with the design of it. And it comes. this one actually comes with documentation, which is nice. So this one does uh, not only the volts and amps and the watts, but the kilowatt hours, which is going to be ideal for the project that we have coming up. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. And I hope to do that in the next video. It'll be a project that we'll do with our buddies over at uh, PCB Way. The meter will go in here. I'll see if I can get some sponge rubber I can cut out to hold it in place. And uh, probes can go in here. And overall, it's a, it's a nice fit. If I get that little piece of foam to go around it, that'd be great. I keep this uh, out of harm's way. I like having my meters in cases, especially if I move around with them or take them anywhere. Okie dokie, I have an idea what this is just by its uh, size and weight. This is a big stack of lithium polymer batteries. These ones here are supposed to be 10,000 milliamp hours. We'll check that out in, probably in a future video. These particular ones don't have protection boards built in. Um, so in here somewhere is also uh, a uh, protection board to go with them. There they are. These are the protection boards. But these can handle quite a bit of current. I think they can handle up to about 10 amps. Yeah, they're just lithium polymer protection boards. Uh, you got to be careful of like lithium ion batteries and uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries and lithium polymer batteries. I've all got different voltages. So you got to get the right uh, protection module for the right battery. Okay, these are tools. What these are are taps. I got uh, three millimeter, three and a half millimeter, and four millimeter just for tapping aluminum and stuff like that for putting screws in. Handy to have. I did have some before, but they're so badly worn out, I can no longer use them. So I thought I'd get these ones and uh, try them out. So these are, uh, these are little ICs. They are RY8310s. And the reason I got these is to try an attempt fix of this uh, Fernisi iron here, which I um, blew up because the, the pigtail was the wrong polarity and uh, I have no idea if that's actually the problem but I do know if I plug this in try to operate it, nothing comes up on the display there's no power supply to the rest of the board and that chip gets hot so that's the only thing I'm going on and uh, we'll do a video on this uh, in the near future so here are five pieces of the Mac 7219 from Aliexpress I did buy one from DigiKey, as you saw maybe in the last mailbag video. However, I, I got all of these for considerably less than the price of one of the actual ones from DigiKey. And uh, I may do a comparison on that, I don't know, but I, I will investigate it myself in the background. Oh, these are just some tantalum capacitors. I needed those for actually for a, a, a repair I'm doing for somebody. 
This here, these here are just little pots of uh, soldering iron tip tinning compound. So yeah, dip your iron in there and it'll retin it for you. Renew it. These are just some fiber washers, little insulating washers for mounting components when you don't want them to uh, conduct to what you're mounting them to. More hardware here. These are just little heat sinks. These are these are pretty good. They can dissipate uh, yeah, around about uh, three to five watts, depending on what kind of temperature tolerance that you have. So they're pretty good. They fit this pattern here that I developed for my little configurable power supply. So that's the reason I got them. Yes, it's a very nice little uh, parts holder. This is actually machined out of solid aluminum billet. Very, very nice. Uh, much nicer than one of these. And it's got three different compartments so you can kind of sort things out as well. Uh, a lot more expensive than these two, by the way. These here are self-tapping screws. Now, I didn't necessarily want to get this many of them, but uh, this is the way they, they came in these packages of 400. It'd be a long time before I go through all of these. But these are for, for doing things like mounting fans and stuff like that to uh, panels and, and, and to heat sinks and what have you. These are just uh, some five pieces of MCP 6002. Did I get the 6002 or the 602? Yeah, these are the 602, MCP 602. They're just a general purpose operation amplifier. I thought I'd give them a try. Actually just play around with them to see if they're real or not. More screws, more hardware. These are carbon steel in uh, various sizes here, M4, M2.5. M3. And in uh, some, some popular lengths, 12 and 16 millimeters and so forth. More hardware. These are brass standoffs in two popular lengths. Well, popular for me anyway. I've run out of these too, almost completely. These are 9 volt battery holders. I like these ones better than just the clips. These can be mounted to a surface and the battery just goes in and comes out. I actually wanted to uh, get one of these for upgrading one of my little component testers. More self-tapping screws. Shorter ones this time. More carbon steel screws. These ones look a little bit rusty. I'll have to put some light oil on them. These are all M4. There's two in this one. This is uh, just a iron cartridge for my Pernici irons. Um, this one's a, a like a 1.5 millimeter chisel tip which I don't have a lot of, and is one of my favorite tips. This here is a very, very nice tweezers. Yeah, they do seem very, very nice. Stainless steel, nice high friction handle on it. Very, very nice stiff and fine end on it there. More standoffs. These are the ones with the little stud on the end of them. These are very, very handy. You can mount one end with a nut and the other end screws in. So these go directly into a chassis or something like that. And uh, yeah, you can just tighten them down with a nut and then put the board on top of them. This is just an automatic uh, center punch. It works just like this. And it puts a dimple in the metal for you. Now I do have one of these, but the tip on it is so gotten so blunt right now it's useless. So I got this one here with a spare tip and uh, it's just replaceable. You can just remove this. And replace the tip as required. These are just some M3, M4 and M2.5 nuts. They're just the regular hexagonal nuts unlike the uh, skirted ones that I got before. Just a little silicone mat. These are great for for when you're soldering stuff up. They're very heat resistant and you just put them down there and solder on them and your iron won't destroy whatever it is you're soldering on, which is your table or your bench or whatever. 
good to have. This is just another little case. I was going to put together a, a soldering kit with this so that one of those Fernese irons can go in it with a power supply and some solder and a couple of little tools that uh, be handy to have for soldering. So that's all it is. Now this is that other little vise I was telling you about. It'd be great for holding small components as you're soldering them, like if you want to solder to a, a, little, a lead to a component or something like that. It'd be ideal for clamping in here. You can either clamp it in the flat edge, or it comes with all these pins here, which you can arrange in any way you want. Um, those pins just drop into those holes, like that. And you can use them like that, with just spare metal or they give you with the kit uh, these little plastic things if what you're clamping is delicate so I think that's going to come in very handy I know sometimes I have an awful time trying to get some little component like if I'm trying to solder a lead to a transistor or something like that trying to hold the transistor hold the lead and yeah this is this will be great and it's got a, a good mass to it as well package it's another case, a case for that project I keep talking about. The project I'm going to start in my next video. So this is going to match my power supply. I'll get some panels made up for it and hopefully uh, I can fit everything into it. It's a nice size, it's stackable. You can put one on top of another and it makes a nice little bench instrument. Now Here's the last package, but I'm not going to show it to you. I know what's in this, and I'm going to do a video on this. It's kind of a crazy purchase, and you'll see when I do the video. But I just wanted to see, uh, I saw these things on, on AliExpress, and they were so cheap, and I said, they can't possibly work. I don't know if they do or if they don't, but uh, we're going to try them out. So I'll introduce you to these in that video, and look for that coming up uh, in the near future. All right, folks, that's all I had for you today. Just mostly uh, tools and hardware and a few little components. Have yourselves a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.